In this video, I'm going to show you how to include pictures in your HTML using the image tag, and we're going to get started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So it's really quite simple. All you need is, is one tag, and it's a self-closing tag. So Normally in HTML, you may be familiar with opening a paragraph tag, for example. Then at the end of the paragraph, you have the closing paragraph tag. Well, for an image, you just have the opening or picture. You just have the opening image tag, and there's no closing tag. It's self-closing. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. So we have a very basic HTML page here with no content. As you can see on the right-hand side, this is how it renders, totally blank. And we're going to add an image tag right here. and what you need as a minimum is the open pointy bracket img and then src, which is short for source, equals, then open and close quotations, forward slash, and a closing pointy bracket. And inside these quotations is where we have the path to our image. It can be a relative path or an absolute path. And relative means there's no HTTP at the front, no domain name at the front. It's just where is the image relative to where this file is? And the absolute path is the link to that image where you can get to it no matter where this file is currently. It's the path to that image no matter where you are. So we're going to get the absolute path for, uh, for the logo from one of our other web properties, WP done for you. I'm just going to grab this link address right here. I'm going to paste it right in. And this is an absolute path to this image. Now if we save this file and refresh this page, we see we have our image here. And that's how easy it is to add an image to your page. Now, there's a couple things that you can do as well. You can add alt text, which helps describe the image. And it's used by screen readers for people who, uh, who have visual impairments who can't see the screen. The screen reader will describe the image using the text inside the alt tag. So I'm just gonna put in WP done for you logo. You have a title tag. It's going to call this WPDFY. And I'm going to save this and show you how these things work right now. Refresh this page. So the title tag appears when you hover over the image for more than one second. So if we go over this image, leave our cursor, we see the, the title tag appear, WPDFY. And the alt tag only appears on screen readers, like I mentioned, and if the image is broken and doesn't load. So if we break this image, this path to the image, we have a little broken image icon, and then we have what's in our alt text. So even if images don't load on your page, you can describe them in the alt text, and the alt text can be as long as you want it to be. But I recommend you keep it down to just a phrase, like just four or five words, no more than that. And then you can actually, or people can see what the image is if for whatever reason the image doesn't load. So those are important things for images. What you can do is make the image clickable as a link, which is quite common. And how you do that is you click outside of the opening pointy bracket of the image. Type in open pointy bracket a href equals open and close quotes, close pointy bracket. After the image, we close that, that link tag. And you can put whatever link you want in here. I'm just going to put a pound sign right now just to have our cursor change when it hovers over. So now, as you can see, our cursor changes to a finger, and this is now a link. When I click, it doesn't go anywhere because I just have a hashtag for the, the link. But now it's a clickable link. And you can define the size of an image. You can use the HTML parameter of width, make it 400 pixels. And as you can see, it got a little bigger. Uh, if you want to change the width and the height, I recommend you do it in CSS and not in the HTML itself because that is much better for you to maintain in the future or for somebody who takes over your code to maintain. And it's really easily done. If you just have one image on the page, you can just create a style tag, open and closing style tag, type in IMG, open and close curly brackets, width, 
colon 400 pixels. So let's make it 800 so we see a change on the page. So now the image is 800 pixels and we did it with CSS. If you have multiple images, you can define a class for the image. And this isn't a CSS tutorial, so don't worry about that too much for this. But what you have here is the basic structure to add an image and make it a clickable link. And that's how easy it is to include pictures in your HTML documents using the HTML image tag. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.